Chess friends, I hope you're well, today I'll share an intriguing chess match between Alpha Zero, a leading AI chess engine, and Magnus Carlsen, the world's best chess player. In this mind-blowing opening move, Alpha Zero sacrificed his queen in the opening against Carlsen, so let's go, I started the game with e4, we have c5 knight f3 knight c6 and the top engine line open variation of Sicilian, g6 called accelerated dragon Sicilian, knight c3 bishop here bishop to e3. White can go with long castle after moving up the queen, then he can consider f3 g4 h4 to push the army to black kingside if desirable, Magnus responded with knight f6, bishop c4 castle, here you may think of playing something ordinary move let's say castle then black will sacrifice his knight on e4 as a tempo, knight captured bishop takes d4 bishop takes, placing three pieces in the same rank, d4 to target both of the pieces, now white has to play bishop g7 to target the rook. King takes g7 and bishop takes d5, the game could continue like this but alpha zero is a supercomputer who is not only a super grandmaster but a AHS robo, he moves back his bishop on b3, now what should black play? Whether he can strike the center or he can play knight a5, if you play knight a5 to target the bishop then we will simply push the e pawn to target it, if black plays knight e8 then we will do a bishop sacrifice by capturing the f7 pawn, if you take the bishop with the rook, knight e6 traps the queen in a golden cage, d takes e6 and black loses his queen on d8, so in this position if black dare to capture it with the king, knight e6 will come anyway to trap the queen, what should you play? If you dare to accept the knight sacrifice then queen will arrive on d5, king f5 g4 check, capture rook g1 check, king h5 queen g2, threatening queen g5 or queen h3 mate, rook f4 and the game will be completely over. To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment, back to the position, Magnus played excellent move knight g4 to target the bishop, but did you notice, his knight is unprotected which is why alpha zero captured his knight, knight takes d4 queen to h4, Magnus brings his queen on a5 to capture the c-pawn, after bishop takes he will take the knight on c3 takes takes and alpha's position may reach in a dangerous situation which is why he played castle, bishop f6 targets to the queen and can you guess, what alpha zero played. He didn't played something ordinary move like moving out the queen from the bishop attack, he sacrificed his queen by capturing the bishop, that's an outstanding move, you shouldn't capture the pawn immediately because it loses the knight on d4 with a threat, so in this position magnus played knight e2 check, forcing white to capture the knight, the knight is retreated so the idea is that the knight has to move two times to get active on the game, that's the idea so pawn takes queen. Black needs to develop his pawns. White have only two minor pieces for the queen and other pieces are remaining equal, knight c3 to play d5 and target to the pawn, black first need to develop his pawn, ok rook e8 knight d5 to target the pawn which is why you can't capture the e pawn, if can fork up your rook and king so Carlson moved up his king on g7, bishop d4 to add pressure to the pawn, rook e6 to protect it, rook d1 to bring the rook on f3, white is trying to create problem in kingside so black needs to play d6. Activating the bishop like this, alpha 0 played rook d3, bishop d7 knight captured f6, taking the knight isn't the best as the white knight can enter to the f-file to attack the rook and the f7 pawn, white bishops are creating much threat to the black king for this reason Magnus played amazing move, which may be alpha 0 ignored, bishop b5 lasering to the rooks, rook f3 and here if you dare to capture the f1 rook, let me show you the variation, knight g4 check to the king, king f8 bishop takes e6. Here you may think of moving back the bishop from the king attack, but you will lose the game immediately, rook takes check king slides bishop c3, attacking to the queen, queen backs knight f6 check king d8 knight d5, targeting to the queen and threatening to play bishop f6 check, what should you play? Any ordinary human will think of saving the queen first, but what will be the benefit if your king will be checkmated, rook takes h7 to play rook h8 mate, you can't stop checkmate and chess friends, if you are enjoying my content then you can support me by giving your beautiful comment like and subscribe to my channel, back to the all variations, here Magnus played rook e2 to target both of the rooks, bishop c3 queen b5, a4 counters the queen, queen runaway knight takes h7.
Discover check to the king and if you dare to capture the free knight, let me show you the variation, rook takes check, king g8 bishop takes e6, black may capture the rook and he will fall in checkmate immediately, rook f3 check king ups rook h3 check and mate. It is our choices, Harry, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities, so back to the position, Magnus played f6, blocking the attack, but what about the rook? Rook and bishop are joining attack to the pawn so Magnus captured the rook, knight takes c6 bishop to e2, rook e1 king back to f8, knight d5 and that's it, Magnus noticed that I have great pieces combination with more pawns advantages, while the black king is very insecure, rook to e8, knight c7 and that's it. Magnus Carlsen have no advantages left to fight with black, so he decided to resign the game, let's see how the game will be end. I played from this position as both sides. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.